Welcome to this first episode of Spirituality Explained, where I explain spiritual concepts in a simple way so that you can understand them and integrate them and continue evolving in your spiritual journey. So the theme of this video is the ego. What is the ego? Everybody talks about it. There are so many lines of thought about the ego and I'm going to explain it to you in a very simple way so you can start understanding it by yourself and not look into any other external source to dictate what these things are because spirituality is something that you do experience by yourself it's something that comes from you if you are starting to understand these concepts right now and they seem a bit strange a bit foreign a bit out there know that all the information resides inside of you and I am just here to shed some light on some of the things that you can actually investigate and see how you feel because this is the thing you need to feel if this is right for you or not if this resonates with you or not I'm going to give you the basics as I understand it in my own spiritual journey so that you can apply that also to your life however as I just said it is something that you need to feel first so here's the thing the ego is your character what you identify with do you identify with being a kind person or with being honest or with being loyal what do you identify with what's your character made of if this reality was a video game and you were a character that will be your ego okay what defines you so you're tall you're strong you're petite you're large everything that identifies and defines your character physically and mentally that is your ego it's the persona you interact with in this physical world the ego is the physical manifestation of yourself in the in this 3d world from which you perceive with your senses from which you hear, from which you smell, from which you can touch, and from which others can perceive you as well. Others perceive this persona, your ego, your character, okay? The ego is used to navigate this 3D reality. When I say 3D, it's the physical world, things you can touch, okay? The physicality is your ego. The ego is neither good or bad, it's just a tool to experience life. When we say, you are not your ego, what does that mean? Your ego is your character, your persona, but it's not who you are in its entirety. In fact, the ego is just a part of you. It's how you perceive the world, but you are so much bigger than your ego. When we do not know this, we tend to identify with our ego. We tend to identify with our character, with our physical limitations. But if you're not your ego, then who are you? You are the observer, okay? When you meditate and you close your eyes and you can observe your thoughts coming in, but you're not your thoughts right so you're the observer of what's going on you are actually consciousness and one part of this consciousness is manifested into the physical reality as your ego without your ego you wouldn't be able to interact with other people in this reality because you wouldn't be physical but you are not limited to your physical aspect you are so much more than this the ego holds all your thoughts, your beliefs, and your feelings that have been programmed since your childhood. So you are not your ego, you are the witness. If you want to experience this firsthand, you can meditate. In meditation, you can step back from your ego, you can step back from your thoughts, and you will understand and realize that you are not your thoughts, that you are not your feelings. Okay, when sadness comes up, or when joy comes up, it's only inside of your body inside of your ego but you are not the sensation you are not the thought you're the one witnessing the sensation or the thought does that make sense so when you're in meditation is actually the exercise of being a witness to your ego and connecting to that source consciousness because you are consciousness 
that is who you are at your core, okay? I'm going to tell you also how to access that consciousness as well. Consciousness as its purest is love. So you, in your purest state at your core, you are love. Love is the opposite of fear. And most of the times, our egos have been programmed during childhood with limiting beliefs and programming of fear, of scarcity, of lack. For example, let me give you an example here. If you have been programmed in your childhood by your parents to think that there is not enough money, to think that you are not good enough, then this is scarcity, this is fear, and you're going to run that program in your uh, adulthood as well. So you are pure consciousness, right? And the ego is here to be at service of that consciousness. The mind has to be at the service of the soul. I'm going to assimilate the ego with the mind and your soul with the heart. So saying that we are only our minds, it's not true because there is so much more than just the limited perception of the mind. If you tap into your heart where your soul resides, the magnetic field of your heart is so much bigger than the one of your, of your mind, okay? From here you can attract much more because you're tapped into the consciousness that is residing inside of you. So that consciousness, that witness is actually here. It's in the heart. When you meditate, I do have a couple meditations in my channel that connect you to that higher consciousness inside of your heart so that you can experience this and you can experience life beyond the ego. Because as I said, you are not your ego, you are consciousness. And so when you start experiencing life as consciousness, then you can reprogram also the ego to be at the service of your heart. How does this work? Imagine that you do have a desire for your life. You want a healthy relationship, right? That's a desire that comes from your soul, that comes from your heart. That's something that you want for your life to evolve, for your soul to evolve, right? Your mind, your ego is only here to take the action and to plan for that desire to come true. If there is something that you do not like about your life, about your character, about your ego, you can change it. You can reprogram that, all right? When the ego is in its shadow, that's when it gets dangerous because it's when we identify ourselves with the ego and we think we're all powerful and we think that everybody and everything else is at the service of the ego. So your ego is a tool for you to experience and live your life. Your ego is not bad, it's not something that you have to unalive, it's not something that you have to get rid of, because if you get rid of the ego, you can't experience life. The, the whole work with the ego, and that's why it's called shadow work, is that the ego has these beliefs, this programming, these fears that we need to become aware of in order to, to heal some patterns. Okay, that's why we talk about integrating the ego. Someone who has an integrated ego is at peace with their mind and their heart. It's in coherence. The mind and the heart is in coherence. That's what integrating the ego is, achieving coherence within the mind and the heart. So that higher consciousness that is here, that resides in you, is here to guide you. It's here to give you the direction where you need to go. And your ego is just the tool that you use to take the action to get to that goal, to get into that direction. So if you want to start doing some shadow work around your ego, if you notice that you have some fears around scarcity of money, around relationships, um, abandonment fears, rejection wounds, we all have them. We all have them in different degrees. So if you want to start your shadow work in order to clean your ego, from all those fears so you can have an integrated ego at peace and in coherence and in harmony, I really suggest you to journal, okay? If you don't know how to do this, I have created a guided journal with a series of questions that I take you through. So 
you just have to read the question and answer it. And these questions are specifically designed for you to get through those blocks and those fears and to bring awareness into what your ego really is and shed all these negativity and all these fears and limiting beliefs so that you can live in harmony and in coherence with your mind and your heart right i'll leave the link of the guided journal in the description box you can download it and it's a really good tool to get you acquainted with journaling if you haven't journaled or if you don't like to write this will make you like it because the thing is there's no better way to access your subconscious than writing if you're already meditating if you're already journaling this is also going to help you to ask you the right specific questions that you need to be asking yourself in order to get to these limiting beliefs in order to shed the awareness if you have any questions let them also in the comments down below so i can answer them i can also make another video about this if you have other themes of spirituality that you would like me to explain then feel free to leave them also in the comments so i can make new videos and if you want to start doing shadow work working on harmonizing balancing that ego i suggest you to download the journal in the description box. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video, that will help me a lot and I'll see you in the next one.